Okay, so I bought this um, this uh, jumper pack, uh, portable jumper starter, and uh, it's, it's branded Future or something like that. Uh, you, can't, you can't really see it here. It's the B model. It's the BR800. Um, maybe a picture or something. So the problem with these things is that you buy them. It's very light. You buy them and there's no way to test it because of course you can try to charge a mobile phone or something it doesn't work because it, it doesn't have to do with the, with the long-term uh, capacity of the battery it has to do with the short-term ability to send a, a large current for a short time so actually there's no way to actually to test this so I have this Honda uh, 1.5 liter uh, engine it's kind of old from 97 <coughs> And um, so what I did was I connected the battery. As you can see, it's completely charged. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to disconnect uh, the negative ch uh, cable, and I'm going to start to try to start the engine just with this. Okay, and this way, and, and I think in this way I can see if it will work or not. So the basic procedure is we we connect this here, supposedly, and then. Okay, it's blinking, so that means it's it's a good thing because it means it doesn't is not fitting well. So the problem is, do I do this just with one hand? Okay, well, I it is, this actually is easy to fit, but you need a little strength. Now it's blinking. That means you know it's not it's not getting any uh, charge or it it, see, it sees it's not connected to the battery. So what I will do is I will open the door so that we will have uh, the internal light open. Okay, we can have some sort of discharge when I, when I disconnect the battery from uh, from the car. So so now I'm going to connect the other cable here, and in principle, it should it should turn green exactly so now it's green and now that that means it it can it can connect so now I'm going to I think it's already let's see, okay so now it's untied so I'm putting it here so it doesn't touch so I don't understand why is this zero 15 volts for some reason I have 16 volts okay so now I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to see if it start, if it starts the engine or not I guess so so I, I would like to try that again so let's see if we can try that again disconnect I'll connect again no. I don't know how to do this I think how do I do this I disconnected and connected it again and now I'm going to do the same procedure again so I'm going to so you can see the battery is overcharged, 13.16. So I'm going to connect this, and uh, okay, Six, 16 volts. Wow, that's just amazing. I don't understand it. 16 volts. Well, okay. So I'm disconnected from the battery. Everything is on. So this is the circuit. Now it says it's on 75% or something. You can see it, but it says it's on the third button. So 16 volts. So now we're going inside, and let's just do this again, okay, wow, 
it works. Two times in a row it works pretty well, so I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm pretty satisfied. Um, 